What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about one too many relationships in ASP.NET Web API. And in the last video, we talked a little bit about models in ASP.NET Web API. Models are pretty much representations of your database. Um, you don't need to install Microsoft SQL Management Studio. This is this is the software that's going to allow you to view your database, and we will install this later. But um, I'm just going to kind of, once again, give you a visual representation of what a database looks like. And you can go into almost any database and do this. Do this. Okay, so a very important point to understanding one-to-many relationships is understanding what a foreign key is. We already kind of talked about what a primary key is. A primary key is going to be on every single database table. And if you are, if you don't know what this, this is right here in relation to what Web API is, our owner POCO, our owner model is going to be a representation of pretty much of our database. And we haven't created our database yet. This is kind of like if I created this in the future, this is what it would look like. And I'm just kind of doing this so that you can get the picture and you're not kind of, you know, in the dark about a lot of these concepts. But an ID is we have an ID in the owner POCO, the owner model. And like I said, we talked about what a primary key is. It's what uniquely identifies, but it also serves another very, very important purpose. And if you look right here, if you don't know what this is, maybe, you know, if you know what it is, maybe drop it down in the comment while you're down there. Drop a like as well, too, so you can get maybe get a little bit of, you know, bump in the rankings for this video but regardless of the point this country id is what a foreign key is a foreign key is going to be what links your tables together so country id kind of sounds uh like a, another table that we have it's going to be what links our countries together it's going to be that powerful thing that i talk about that's what a foreign key is what forms the relationship in the soft in the software and in the database and the web api is smart and there's a lot of abstraction going on there's a lot of things that you used to have to do but c sharp has made it or net entity framework has made it so that you don't have to do as much finagling or you know even coding in order to get a lot of these relationships to start working but one important thing that i want you to realize too is that there's only really three ways that you can form relationships there's a one-to-one -one, which is relative i wouldn't say rare but it's not as common as one to many one to many is going to be the most common and many to many is going to be the last one which is kind of like in the middle common uh, one to many is definitely the most common and we're going to have many to many and we're going to have one to many but we're not going to have a one-to-one -one in this one because i just left it out i don't think it's really uh incredibly necessary to understand what a one-to-one -one, but just for um kind of so you don't you know you don't know you don't know what it is a one-to-one -one would be if you are trying to form a relationship between two tables and the data is maybe like an address or something a one-to-many relationship would be like comments on a profile there is one entity which is going to be uh, like, fa like, let's just give an example of Facebook. A one-to-many would, would be, one table would be the profile table, and then the many table would be the comment table. So you would have one profile, and within that POCO, within that model, you would have a list of comments. You would have many comments. A many-to-many -many would be the relationship of students to courses. There can be many students students can join many courses and they can join them in so many different ways that you would have to have a many to many a one to many is more uh it's more simple and it's kind of just more logical a one to many like i said it's going to be almost like comments and a one to one is almost going to be like having one address to one entry in the table if that makes sense and that that might not make sense but hopefully we'll get an example going on here and it'll make a little bit you know a little bit more sense so let's just look at our uml a uml diagram is another good way to actually kind of visualize these things and if you uh, don't have this it's it's going to be down in the comments so 
this is a many. Whatever you see the brackets, this is a many, and you only see one word, that's a many. This is a many to many. You can always ident identify many to many because it has the Pokemon, or it has one table, and it has another table, and the tables are joined together. So Pokemon categories is a many to many. This is a one. Uh, this is just called a one. But like a one to many, you actually have to have that one uh, there as well too. So you have to have, if you notice, uh, you have the reviews and then for, if you go over to the actual review table, you're going to have the Pokemon. So there is our one and there is our many. So one to many, one to many. You can also do it the, you can also trace it the other way. We've got one to many, one to many. Then we have our reviews. We have this one, one, or this one is many to one, many to one. And a lot of, the, like I said, a lot of this is uh, a little confusing, but the best way to kind of do it is just to get your hands dirty and actually see what's going on. So enough with the chit chat. We're going to actually start looking at some code here and actually start getting our tables set up. So first things first, let me, hold on one second. I am messing things up here. Gonna go ahead, move this over. If I can get this, cl or just close it out. And we are going to do, let's go ahead and start with, I'm trying to see here. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Let's go ahead and start with the Pokemon. We'll worry, the next video we'll do many to many just so I can kind of break these things up logically so I can, you know, get the, so I can show up for many to many, honestly, so I can show up to, on many to many for the video, but we're just gonna do one to many in this video and in the next video we're gonna do uh, many to many. So let's go ahead, let's start with Pokemon. All right, Pokemon, first thing is we're going to have to um, put our review. So whenever you are actually doing your many, well, all you want to just realize is that it's going to be in the form of a list. So do this, and then we will have reviews. Okay, so that's going to be our first one. Then let's go over here. Like I said, we'll worry about the menus later. And let's go to country, and we will add owners. So country, and we're gonna go over to country, and then we will do a collection owner and then we're going to go owners boom okay simple the next one we're going to do reviewer and then we're going to do reviews reviewer and then we're going to have reviews down here and once again many is always going to be in uh, a col I collection it could be I've seen it in a list too but I think the uh, Mo the ex like the way that most people are going to do it like the generally accepted way is going to be an eye collection and an eye collection really isn't any different from a uh list except that it is it can't be edited or it's it's not editable and it doesn't have as much functionality as a list so we've got that one all right and that one is going to be a many to many and don't worry about these join. These are join tables. These have to do with many to many. We'll worry about those later. So, all right, we've got our minis. Now we need to start working, worrying about our ones. So we have our owner, then we have our country right here. And the one relationship, I'll show you kind of how just one works. Let me make sure that I got the right one. It's country. So owner, so prop country. And because this is a one, and it's not a list of objects, like we're not list, it's not a many, it's a one, it's only going to have a one country with it. So whenever you show this actual model, if you were to just hypothetically bring this back from the API, it would only have one country associated with it. And that's kind of like the intuitiveness of the one to many relationship is that when it's in an I collection or when it's in a list or it's in some kind of like collection holder, it's going to be a many, and when it's just one like that, it's just gonna show up as just one like object. It's kind of cool too, it's, it's, uh, it's really elegant. I'm really 
I am surprised, you know, that they are able to come up with all of this elegant stuff because if you look in Django, this is another reason I don't like Python, is like Django, they do their models like, I think they have like a builder or something or some kind of like crazy like way of doing uh, model their models and I definitely like this way. So we're going to go review and then we're going to have reviewer and then we're going to have Pokemon. So review just to make sure, reviewer and then Pokemon. So prop review her and then review reviewer. And then we are going to have prop. We're going to have Pokemon. And we're going to have Pokemon. Sweet. And let me just go through and double check to make sure that they are correct. So we're gonna go through here, we're gonna do category. Yep, that one's good. We're gonna go country. Yep, that one looks good. We're gonna go owner, double check, country, yep. Okay, we're gonna do Pokemon. Yep, that one looks good. We're gonna do review. Reviewer, Pokemon, then Reviewer, and Reviews. Looking good. Anyway, that is the video on one-to-many relationships. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.